every now and then, you're going to want to add a new switch or an outlet to a room in your home. But before you run any new cable, you need to make sure you know what's going on with the existing circuit to make sure you're choosing the correct wire size. And before we even get into wire size, first let's get clear on how electricity is measured. Electricity travels on a path, called a circuit, is carried by a conductor, or a wire, and is measured in units of power called watts. Watts are determined by amperage times voltage. So if you think of a garden hose, the volume of water flowing through the hose is the amperage. The water pressure is the voltage. So watts equals amps times volts. Remember that. The circuit load, or electrical load, is the amount of wattage that's going to be consumed by the devices or the appliances that you have plugged into the circuit. The amount of electricity that can safely travel on a circuit is determined by the size of the conductor the hose in our metaphor, or the wire in the circuit. So here are some common household wires. Wire size is determined by the American Wire Gauge System, or AWG, and the gauge refers to the actual physical size of the wire. The lower the number, the thicker the wire. Thicker wires can safely pass more amperage or current without overheating. Copper electrical cable is usually called NM cable, where the NM stands for non-metallic sheathed cable or Romex. Parts of the cable include the sheathing, which is this flexible plastic jacket, and the wires and protective covers. Typical gauges are 14 gauge, which handles 15 amp, 12 gauge handles 20 amp, 10 gauge 30 amp, 8 gauge 40 amp, 6 gauge 50 amp. Now you want stiff but flexible wires when you're running cable. So standard gauges like 14, 12, and 10 all come in solid wire. But when you get into the lower gauges like 8 and 6, they become too stiff to work with. So stranded wire is typical because it's more flexible. You need to know the amperage of your circuit in order to choose the right NM cable for your new extension. In almost all cases, it will be either 14 gauge for 15 amp or 12 gauge for 20 amp. An easy way to check what kind of cable you need is to open up the box you're gonna tap into and see what cables are in there already. You should also confirm the circuit amperage by looking at the number, the amperage rating, on the circuit breaker switch. Here's a safety note. If you open up the box and you see 14 gauge wires on a circuit that's rated for 20 amps, that means your circuit's wired improperly and you need to call an electrician because you have a fire hazard. So hopefully this all makes sense, but if you're ever in doubt, be sure to call a licensed professional before you start messing with your wires.